Selling your home can be daunting and exciting at the same time. Some of the biggest tasks, of course, finding a good real estate agent, somebody you're comfortable with, and settling on the right price. Two really big things here, but as Three on Your Side's Gary Harper explains tonight, some consumers say they have found a new way to sell their home. Well, this may be a new way to sell your home, but it does not necessarily make it the right way to sell your home. It really depends on what your situation is, but I will tell you this, it is gaining in popularity. Dora Cagnetto wanted to sell her townhome recently, and although she needed some minor repairs done, Dora says she just wanted to sell it fast. I'm retired. I don't want to spend, you know, my retirement fixing up a place to sell. Dora came across something fairly new in the real estate industry called Zillow Offers. It was launched in Phoenix last year by Zillow. Here's how it works. You go online and with the click of the mouse, you ask Zillow to make an offer on your house. The offer usually comes in about 24 hours. They gave me an offer. They did an inspection. They gave me a final offer and it went through just very quickly. George so Lawton helps Zillow jobs. buy homes like Dora's, and he says the process is pretty easy. Yeah, we like to say it's so simple, like you click a button and magic happens. However, all that magic comes with a price tag. On average, uh, the fees average about 7%, where, you know, when you list traditionally, um, average is about 6%. So, you know, it's fairly close, but you're giving up a little bit of money for certainty, convenience, flexibility. Randy Cooney is a real estate broker and sells homes in the more traditional way. He says Zillow Offers is similar to Open Door, which launched five years ago and has gained in popularity. And there's another one called OfferPad. In the real estate industry, these companies are referred to as iBuyers. And the iBuyer is an investment buyer who's going to usually offer the consumer, the seller, more of a, a wholesale price versus retail price because they have to take that property and they too have to turn around and make some profit from it. In other words, if you choose an iBuyer, Cooney says there's a strong chance you'll leave money on the table. That's because iBuyers pay less for the home than they'll sell it for. It's basically wholesale versus retail. For some consumers, that's okay because they really they have an estate, they have to move quickly, uh, the speed is important. But for many others, if they just wait a little bit and find that right buyer for the property, they could retain a lot more dollars at the end of the transaction. And for Dora, it was worth it, even though the iBuying company immediately listed her house for $10,000 more than what they paid Dora. It went smoothly and quickly, and I didn't have to do any of the repairs. I didn't have to worry about negotiations. I didn't have to worry about contingencies. Now, if you choose an iBuyer to buy your house, make sure you get numerous offers. Just don't go with the first company or the first offer you get. Try the market out and see what other iBuyers might give you. Also, make sure you look at all of their fees. Fees are different with each company. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.